Hi, today is pneumonia day and I want to talk to you about pneumonia obviously. It is a deadly condition and can be fatal if not dealt with quickly and efficiently. Now there are two main types which is viral and bacterial and they have very similar symptoms. Now a viral bacteria, viral pneumonia can attack aggressively and quickly and it can then turn bacterial. Bacterial doesn't tend to turn viral but they have very similar symptoms the cough, which is normally producing green, yellow or bloody mucus. You've got bloody mucus, you go see a doctor. You don't mess around. You've got blood in your mucus, go see a doctor. The next one, you can often get sweating, feeling hot, feeling feverish. Oh, you can get the opposite, feeling shaky and chills. That normally lasts 24 to 48 hours and it's more with the viral aspect, but can be in the bacterial. Shortness of breath, just can't quite catch a breath shallow or rapid breathing and it can be either it can be both which is really interesting <laughs> you can get a bit this and just can't quite catch a breath properly and it can come as quick as it's gone or it can be elastic. you can get some stabbing pain in your chest especially when you breathe deep or when you cough uh loss of appetite low energy and feel of fatigue your body's fighting so of course you're going to feel low and energy you can sometimes in smaller children get nausea and vomiting. It doesn't tend to happen so much in adults. It's more nausea and vomiting in pneumonia in children. Uh, but in older people, they tend to get more of the confusion. That doesn't tend to hit the kids so much. That's more the older person. Um, they may be just very disorientated and very odd, maybe a bit more forgetful than normal. All of these symptoms, when put together, need attention they need antibiotics they need fluids um you may even find that their pulse rate changes or that their nails have got a bluish color or their lips are because they're not getting enough oxygen so the first and foremost is that you must seek medical attention for this and one of the things they'll give you is antibiotics and hopefully a chest x-ray to see what's going on however what can you do alongside the antibiotics not separate to this there are some drinks that can help to speed your recovery up and that would be a drink including ginger honey and thyme and you would take some of the different things and stew it into hot water so it would be a tea essentially you'd use it like tea bags you know you'd put your little stuff into the tea strainer and you'd put your honey your thyme and your ginger into there Give it a good stir, stew it and drink that and it will help to ease some of the mucus and it will help to relieve some of the cough and help the lungs heal. But you must seek the medical attention as well as this is for symptom relief. Western medicine is to treat the condition. And then once you have finished your antibiotics and you are outside of the danger zone, go get some acupuncture to boost your immune system and help to get rid of the last of that phlegm and cough. This has been Thoughts with Points. Please take care with pneumonia, guys. It's no laughing matter and it's not just a cold. It can kill. Take care.